There's a right way to be a buyer, and then there's a wrong way to be a buyer. And in this video, we're gonna tell you exactly what not to do. What's up guys, Steve Bazzagani, Philly's real estate agent. Today, we're gonna to be talking about three things to avoid when being a home buyer. First thing, we're gonna talk about um, how to be financially pre prepared. And I'm not saying, you know, it's okay to put no money, like low money down, like three and a half percent, three percent down, that's fine. But having high debt, low income, refusing to save money, that's what I mean by unprepared. So be financially prepared. Number two, not listening to your real estate agent. We as real estate agents, we sell 50 to 100 plus homes per year. You know, we've been through the ringer every year, many, many times. You know, we kind of do this for a living. So maybe we might know something. Going into a real estate transaction, knowing that, thinking that you know more than your real estate agent, not a good move. If you're a plumber and you know more about plumbing, hey, look, that's fine. I'm gonna follow your advice on this. But, um, you know, for the most part, you wanna follow the advice of your real estate agent. Don't act like you know better than them. That does not do well for you. Um, and then three, asking for everything. Like when it comes to the inspection, for example, don't just get the inspection report and then close it up and say, Mr. Seller, fix everything. I want you to fix it all, all of it. And that's not good. That's one way to absolutely kill rapport with the seller um, because that's just, it, it comes across as offensive. It's kind of like an unwritten rule, um, even though you can technically do it. Um, but what the better way to go about that would be to actually just focus on the important items. Like, okay, the light bulb's busted. Great, cool, no problem. If you want to just fix that when you move in, let's focus on the fact that the roof is leaking or the fact that there's water in the basement, or you know, more important issues. Focus on the big ticket items and then go from there. Don't ask for everything. So those are my tips for today, how to not be an awful buyer. Um, and you know, hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of that and we'll go from there. And uh, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and you have questions about buying a home, selling a home, or just Philadelphia real estate in general, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out with any questions you have.